Hello, my name's Roy Granger, and this is my audio blog. During yesterday's broadcast of my weekly pirate radio show, Roy's Joys of Pepe Aviation, I was interrupted by a mysterious lady entering the studio partway through an anecdote concerning a spot of bother I'd had floating a butterfly glider out in the street during a light breeze. By studio, I of course mean the small cubby hole under the stairs in my house where I keep my Tandy 201 electronics kit, which I've rigged up to work as an AM radio transmitter. Ever the professional, I slickly promised my audience I'd finish my tale after a musical break and started playing Street Band's 1978 novelty hit, Toast. I turned my attention to the attractive intruder, and she told me that she was sorry to have interrupted, but she was desperate and didn't know who else to turn to. A less world-weary man than myself may have been taken in by her large doe eyes as she told her sob story, but not I. She'd been on a first date with a man she'd met through a computer dating agency at the local swimming baths. She'd felt they'd got on extremely well and had arranged to share a can of apple tango after they'd toweled off and changed into their street clothes. She waited at the poolside bar for the man for some time and fearing that he may have slipped on a tile in the cubicle, she asked a member of the bar staff to check the changing room for her. The changing room was completely empty. The man was nowhere to be found. Rejecting the notion that her friends had posited that the man had simply done a runner, she now found herself in my cubbyhole at her wit's end. It was at this point I realised the events that had occurred so far bore a striking resemblance to one of my favourite episodes of 70s West Country Private Eye show, Shoestring. The main difference being that I'm incapable of growing as bountiful a moustache as the leading man, Trevor Eve. Not wanting to get caught up with a fairground-owning band of gypsies out to avenge the death of their only sister, which is the only direction I could assume following this line of inquiry could take, I shooed the woman out of my house despite his sobs and screams. I'm sure the neighbours must have arched a few eyebrows at that scene. Luckily... I returned to the studio just as the record ended and was able to finish my anecdote as if the interruption had never occurred. A record number of 22 people listened to that broadcast. I feel the show's slowly starting to pick up steam. I'm hoping by the end of next year it might even be syndicated.